Good morning, sixth graders. Today I'm going to explain the updated task that we are doing called Understanding Your Global Goal. Before I go forward, yes, I am using Individuals and Society 6.1 classroom page. No need to worry, it's the same on all other classroom pages in sixth grade. You have already started to research your global goal individually. You already should have formulated a question to drive your research. Today I'm going to explain a little bit more about how you're going to present your research. In the post it says, after your group has identified your common global goal, ask a question that will drive your individual research forward. You should have already have done that. Here's what's new. You may share your knowledge as a written report, a video, a podcast, or a narrated slideshow. If you have a different idea of how you'd like to share your knowledge, please come and see me and we can discuss it. However you decide to do your finished product, it must have the following things here. A research question and why it's important. A summary of your research, what you found out. Your finished product should be posted on your blog with a reflection on the research process. If you'd like to see the task on ManageBack, you can click on this link and you'll see it here. The same details are here as well. You should have a look at the rubric, which is this purple sheet, which is attached at the bottom of this post, and it connects directly to these three points that I'm asking you to do. Here's the rubric. We are looking at criteria A, knowing and understanding. One strand. I can demonstrate substantial knowledge and understanding of a global goal through developed and accurate descriptions, explanations, and examples. That connects directly to a summary of your research, what I found out. Criteria B, investigating. I can explain the choice of my research question on a global goal. That connects directly to a research question and why it's important. I can reflect on the research process and results. That connects directly to your finished product should be posted on your blog with a reflection on the research process. And criteria C, I can create a reference list and I often follow task instructions. That connects right to this part, you need references. We have done MLA references previously. If you need more resources, please look in the About section of Classroom and you will find it. There is also information posted on the back wall of my classroom and you can always come and see me for more details. So that is your updated task. If you have any extra questions, please see me directly. I will also be checking in with you today to find out what format you will be uh, using to present your ideas and your knowledge. And one final thing, the secret code is purple octopus.